Hey guys, in today's tech tip video, I'm gonna show you how to get connected with our Screen Connect icon. Check it out. First thing I want to go over with this video is this icon is designed for our memberships only. If you have a membership of ours and you do not have this icon, definitely give us a call so we can get that icon on your computer. It's the fastest way to get a hold of us. But it's a very simple process. What you do is double left click it. A little box will come up here that will display our phone number. But right here is where you're gonna want to type in your name that's associated with your account. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and put video test, but you would replace video test with your name. Hit connect. If you're on an older machine like a Windows Vista or a Windows 7, you may be prompted with a prompt that says, do you want to run this program? Go ahead and click run. And then you'll be followed up with this prompt that says, do you want to allow this uh, app to make changes to your PC? Go ahead and click yes. Now what that's gonna do is you'll get a little pop-up down here that says video test waiting for your host. And what that will do is it'll send you to our help desk queue. And what that means is a technician or a customer service agent will then pick up that session and what happens when they get connected on their end is your screen's gonna go dark. As you can see, it went dark. That has disabled your, your wallpaper for privacy. And they'll usually open up a chat session saying, hey, how may I help you? I'll go, go ahead and show you what that looks like here. Helps if I start typing in the required fields. Uh, And that'll pop up usually in the top right hand corner of your screen. Now, of course, if it is during business hours, if it's customer service or tech, they usually will give you a call saying, hey, how may I help you? But if it is after business hours, then they'll open up a chat. From here, you can just type in whatever issue it is as, as thoroughly as you can, and then hit the send button right here, and that will send that to them and they can respond accordingly. So now that we're at the point where you were connected, everything's working well, uh, the issue has been taken care of. We're gonna go ahead and show you what the disconnection process looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it on the air, their end. When they close out your session, they'll hit end session. You'll get a little pop-up and usually in the top right-hand corner or towards the middle of your screen that says your host has ended the remote session. This application will now close. Just go ahead and click okay. If you do still have this little box here, just go ahead and click the red X on the top right corner. Chances are they have the technician or the customer service agent has already uh, close that program for you. And that wraps up our help desk icon tutorial. If you loved what you see, hit the subscribe button right below me here. Also check out some of our other videos over there on the left hand side. We do new videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays. Once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.